हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज चैल वेलकम बैक टू टेक्निकल स्टडी विद चैल इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडी द मिक्सिंग ऑफ द टू इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्लोर्स और दीज इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्लोर मे बी मे बी फ्लोर्स और मे बी सॉलिड ओके टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द मैक्सिमम वर्क ऑप्टेनेबल इफ वी ऑपरेट बिटवीन टू फाइनाइट बॉडीज लेट सपोज वी हैव टू फाइनाइट बॉडीज एट टेम्परेचर टी वन एंड टेम्परेचर टी टू इफ वी ऑपरेट बिटवीन दीज टू सिस्टम और दीज टू बॉडीज देन बाट विल बी द मैक्सिमम वर्क ऑप्टेनेबल फ्रॉम दीज ओके सो लेट सी लेट लेट वी हैव अ बॉडी which having property m1 c1 t1 see these are the finite bodies not infinite these are the not source or sink these are just the body so temperature is fixed mass is fixed not infinite okay we have a body with some properties which gives some energy to an reversible engine and extract some energy to another finite body which having property m2 c2 and t2 okay and we are getting some work we are getting some work from this engine when we are operating between these two bodies now see first thing is this engine is reversible this engine is reversible okay now from the first law of thermodynamics we can write what what we can write q is equals to du plus w see here we have two bodies one having temperature t1 and one having temperature t2 let's suppose t1 is greater than t2 now for Four body one. Let this is the our system. Body one is our system, so we can say the boundary work. Boundary work for system one is zero. See, there is no boundary work from the system. This is our system as of now. Okay, so there is no boundary work, so we can write the zero from here. Q is equals to M C D T because the internal energy is what M C D T. So we can write M one C one and D T is final temperature minus initial temperature. Let's suppose the final temperature is T F initial initial temperature is T one. Similarly for system two we can write Q two is M two C two T F minus T two. See, can we write like this? Yes, we can write like this. Now, see, if I talk about only magnitude, so what we can write? Q one. I am talking about only magnitude, not the sign. If we take the minus sign common here. And take just a magnitude, then we can write m1 c1 t1 minus t f. C can we write? Okay. Now, from the definition of work, if a engine producing some amount of work, then this is the this is the difference between the energy exchange between this engine so work obtained can be written like q1 minus q2 okay so q1 is m1 c1 t1 minus tf minus q2 is m2 c2 t2 uh, tf minus t2 simple okay this is the work but we want maximum work obtainable for two finite bodies we want maximum work not just the work so for maximum work what you have to do you have to go 
इन टू दी कंसेप्ट ऑफ एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर दिस सिस्टम लेट एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर सिस्टम इज एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर टोटल सिस्टम वी कैन से एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर यूनिवर्स एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर यूनिवर्स इज इक्वल टू एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर सिस्टम एंड एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर सराउंडिंग so here is no entropy exchange from the surrounding i am talking about the system only so this is the zero and we can write the entropy change for the system is entropy change for system 1 plus entropy change for system 2 we can write this yes we can write now we have already study the entropy change for any system that is entropy change for any system that is m1 c1 ln t final divided by t1 we can write like this yes this is the entropy change for n ideal guess okay or this is also the entropy change for n not ideal guess for the incompressible substance here we are talking about the finite bodies okay finite bodies means incompressible substance and delta h2 is what m2 c2 ln t final divided by t2 so this is the entropy change of universe this is the entropy change of universe but we want maximum work what we want maximum work so for maximum work what you have to do you have to equate the entropy change of universe to the zero if if the entropy change for the universe is zero then you will get maximum work because there will be no irreversibility in the system if there is no irreversibility then work is automatically maximize so if you do entropy change for this universe equals to zero then you will get the maximum work okay now equate it to the zero and find out the final temperature find out the final temperature and the final temperature that you will get will come out to be what root of t1 t2 final temperature you will get root of t1 t2 so this is the final temperature getting after equating the entropy of universe is equals to zero so this is the final temperature and put this final temperature in the equation one that is work and you will get the maximum work put the final temperature in this then you will get the maximum work okay so this can be done easily beside this let you have let you have a equation with the given condition that m1 is equals to m2 is equals to m and c1 is equals to c2 is equals to what c then find out the maximum temp uh, maximum work obtained from this device so after putting these values in equation 1 then you will get the maximum work that is 2 mc t1 plus t2 minus root of 2 root of t1 t2 okay this is inside 2 root of t1 t2 okay this is the maximum work obtained from two finite bodies write it here so that you can clearly visualize maximum work obtained that is mc mc t1 plus t2 minus 2 of t1 t2 so this is the maximum work obtained in this case okay simple let if again you want to simplify this equation this is little bit complicated let 
take common from this equation take common uh, two take two common from this equation then you can write two mc t1 plus t2 divided by two minus root of t1 t2 you can write this here we don't have two in denominate uh, in numerator to take common so what we can what we will do uh, we divide the two and take common from it so see this is the arithmetic mean of the temperature and this is the geometric mean of the temperature so after simplifying we are getting the maximum work that is 2 mc am minus gm you can remember this easily that maximum work obtained for the finite bodies is 2 mc am minus gm if here we have two finite bodies if you have four finite bodies then what you will do just replace this two with four then you will get the maximum work obtained between four finite bodies this is a very important concept and many questions in gate asking like this okay today's objective is finished in next class we will do only numericals related to this and related to previous class numericals are uh, remaining from last three lectures in one lecture we will cover numericals only for from last three lectures okay if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you